How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with some more historic brawl. Today, we are playing Talion, the Kindly Lord. Um, dude, the Fairy Noble. I don't know much else about him. Uh, we will not be keeping this opening hand either. We need a uh, more reliable. I guess we can keep this. We need another blue source, uh, or even a black source would be helpful, but. Uh, we kind of gotta, gotta hope for it. All right, there's a uh, one strike. We're gonna spin the fang bearer, so we might just get poisoned before we can actually find a solution, which would be very sad. I don't know. This is kind of just a blue black control build. It's not anything special or unique. He's a cool commander, um, but uh, the only time I've ever seen him in a game of Magic Gathering was uh, when I was playing One Drop Tribal, and uh, he's not exactly a good fit for facing off against that deck because he can literally... He, uh, his ability is basically whenever your opponent casts a spell, they lose two life and you gain two life. And you draw a card. Like, that is, uh, that's some, a rough set of abilities. Hey, blue source, do I go? I think I'm gonna go Ristic Study. I need the other land to, uh, make it happen. And, uh, it was our best bet of getting there. It was a Rhystic City on the battlefield, as opposed to just sitting back with a counterspell, hoping that, uh, things work out. Opponent, would you please cast a spell? I kind of need the cards. Green Sun Twilight, yes, I will draw a card. 5-2, so they just gonna put on the battlefield? What's the worst thing they could put on the battlefield for 5 mana? Oh, right, they don't search, it's the top 5 cards. I see. Uh, wow. There do be some poison there, doesn't there? We're up to five mana now. We do have to block a fin if it comes our way, I think. We need to be up to seven mana this turn, apparently. We hadn't, we haven't really missed a land drop. Why did we get two? Uh, away, Finn. Oh, you had death touch. Well, that makes more sense. GG. Thought having one block would be enough. It just wasn't enough. Ah. I haven't played uh, much Demir Control. And that wasn't a particularly... F well, it was kind of fast. Four minutes is pretty fast. I feel like if we had another turn, we probably could have stabilized, but... Our best Wrath in the color is a 5 mana, right? That's not great. 
from blue we have a six and a seven and then from black we have a five and a seven i wonder if i don't know i wouldn't want to get rid of uh blood money because it's a very good card and in the same vein the six mana from blue is Cyclonic Rift, which I also wouldn't want to get rid of because it's a very good card. So, or the seven mana from blue. Cycle. And blue source, I needed that. That was the fairies. We also have Blood on the Snow. Uh, I forgot about it. Clearly from the lands you can see that much. Uh, I'm going to put this down because we can just Hagramalling if they play their commander. It's Forest Sleece despite... Uh, the being Esper thing. Uh, I think we're gonna go four. They won't have many four mana or four toughness things, but they will want to cast their commander. Ah, well, that's rough. Uh, we can just attempt to draw cards. We're gonna wrath away our uh, our commander, anyways. Our legitimate business person. Let. Okay, they uh, they went great mode. I'm glad for that because otherwise they could have just monodracked us to uh, to oblivion, which would have been bad. I don't really need to draw a card. I don't think. Let's see what they play. Their commander. My turn. Um, Agrimalling. Funny way to tap that game. Uh, I guess we just uh, ramp a little. I'll take a dual land. Anointed procession. I think Talion comes down on four again. Or do we just choose like Three and hedge our beds. Uh, I think that's fine. Resolve. Uh, oh, not that one. We want to ramp a little bit. Uh, we will. Get rid of a Eula. Like, we should be set from here, but you never know. 
How did you find your way into my deck? Lantern Bearer. Uh, do, 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 do. Eliminate. Probably outlived its usefulness. Cool, cool. No to that. And then we will uh, mill you a bit. And uh, take the command tower. That's a turn. Only take two. All comes down. Lane gets in. Very cool opponent. I'm gonna cast Hole Break Horror at the end of their turn. And hopefully leverage that into a game winning position. Neato. Treasure. So many good treasures. Level three. All break horror. Thoughts upon it? And uh, we will continue the mill train. Get a little cry. Mm, that's not really good in this matchup. They have removes, but you have to do it now because I will be able to protect the horror during my turn. So it is a creature spell. So my one mana horror, uh, it uh, served a purpose. Yeah, I think we win from here. I do not see how we lose. The worst case scenario, we come in seeing game during their turn. Uh, or worst case, we spell swindle. Uh, best case, we come in seeing game. Neato. Neato. Opponent. Uh, come in, same game. Resolve auto resolve auto TG, I guess. We don't know for sure yet, but we will assume it's GG.
Not quite then, is it? Uh, magic mirror? Okay, turn that one. That's the turn. GG. Ah. Do we have time for one more? We do. 16 minutes. Okay. i be quick about it, though. I don't know, I'm not very quick with control games. I like to take my time. Um, which isn't a bad thing, I don't think. But it can be uh, unproductive for video content, right? Because if you take your time, that means you, uh, you ask the viewers to sit down and watch a long, drawn-out battle that may or may not actually be a victory, right? Because it's just as easy to lose after a long battle than it is to win. Ruby, Daring Tracker. Keep. Blue Tapland into blue Arcane Signet. And then we tally it on two. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to tell you on four. My guess would be they have a four mana four four. Three, okay. Didn't quite pan out the way I wanted it to, but... This way we can keep up, disallow, and change the equation. Change the equation should be able to uh, handle most of our needs in this circumstance, but it might not. Let me look at our Skyclay Relic. Don't look at that. Uh... The equation has been changed, opponent. Pray I don't change it further. I think we, uh, we gotta swing first. You know what, we'll just play Spell Dancer. We'll save the wrath as long as we can. When it's up on cards on us, so... We are slightly worried about that, but maybe we don't have to be. That's eight mana. Ready to go? I think we're getting crater heft. Devastator. Yeah, I can take eight. Well, isn't that just the worst? Uh huh. Crooks of Fate does have downsides with this particular type of creature. Um, so that is something we learned today. We cannot allow our opponent to play more dragons. Neat. Not a dragon. Not worried.
Hmm. Oh, well, this is. Decent. Uh, so we. Save our boy. We swing in for a bit. Go up to 18. If you get our first oil counter, whenever you cast a non creature spell, get an oil counter. That makes sense. Ew. Warren Clark's Voice of Hunger. Oh, why would you do this? Uh, so let's swing in with the team. One of them gets blocked, and it's probably a tally, yeah. And then, uh, one, two, three. Destroy all non-dragon creatures. That's the turn. Choosing the toughness of the uh, opponent's commander is probably just the best Talion uh, decision that we can make. The last one was actually a thing. Alien will come down and be able to block. So he's not exactly useless, but. Uh, Italian on two. Opponent. You are taking a lot of damage upon it. GG. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Talion is one of the commanders that I think has a bit of a gotcha in him because he, uh, whenever opponent casts a spell with a mana value, power, or toughness, right? So he hits three things, and it's uh, a little bit sneaky sometimes, I feel. Either way, if you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.